Good morning. Take this down a little. There we go. Good morning, everybody. This is Nicole Trom here for Lee Health, and you are watching Healthcare Heroes Self Care Moment. So I will wait a second to see if anyone comes on this morning. It is, which I think of this because it's not easy to remember what day it is, but it is Wednesday and it is the middle of our week. So we get to kind of celebrate a little bit. So if you're coming on and watching, put some comments in, let me know where you're watching from, how your week's been going, how you've been enjoying these weekly or these daily wake ups and, uh, and then we'll get started. So I, um, I went for a run this morning and it was beautiful out actually. Um, earlier in the week it was very, very hot. So today it was like 66 degrees and it was just nice and cool. It was really nice for a run. And um, I was thinking about you know what I was gonna talk about today and one of the things that came up was like, gosh, this is starting to feel like this like, get up, do this, do that, do this, right? And we find, um, we find comfort in having that schedule, having those things, but it's also nice to kind of switch it up for our own awareness, for ourselves to be a little, a little bit more aware, a little bit more present with what we've got going on. And uh, as I was running, I smelled this like amazing flower. And I, I, I'm not sure what it is in Florida, but I think it, in New Jersey, it's a gardenia and that's, that's where I'm from. Um, but I think here it's like some different form of gardenia or like jasmine or something. Kind of smells like the two of them. Um, and it really made me like pause and really just take in how beautiful it was this morning. And so that's something I want to focus on today. Self-care doesn't need to be anything crazy and it's not like we can go run to the spa right now, right? So being able to take care of ourselves sometimes just means slowing down enough to literally smell the flowers, all right? So allowing yourself that space and that time. Um, and what we're gonna do this morning is we're gonna start by um, doing a little bit of self-massage. We're gonna do some lymphatic drainage down the sides of our neck, which helps us to release tension in the neck. I know a lot of people hold tension there, I do. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll, we'll move into our more movement and breath. But first, just take a comfortable seat and you can sit with your feet down on the floor and your spine nice and long. And when we do that, it just allows all of that energy to start to line up, it allows ourselves to really feel in our bodies. And then just start to move your head a little side to side. So just letting the sides of your neck start to warm up. You can take a couple deep breaths. Is anyone else as crazy as I am has already been out and done a bunch of things? just feeling the sides of your neck start to warm up a little. And then the next time that you bring your right side of your head, your right ear to your right shoulder, keep it there. All right, so notice my head is kind of facing forward. I'm, I'm not leaning forward or back. I'm stacking right up in line with myself. And then take your right hand and start right underneath your ear here and just slowly start to work your way down. It's pretty gentle. Just bringing a little bit of pressure along the side of the neck. And just kind of letting that flow down, working your way all the way to your collarbone. You'll feel it. it's kind of a notch there. And just letting yourself move nice and slow, kind of moving that energy down. And this is just one of those ways that we feel better in our body, but it also promotes a healthier um, immune system as well, because we're using, we're moving that lymphatic fluid. So just moving down and down. And then come right up underneath and we're gonna start, you'll notice there's like a column of muscles you may have started to massage right in there. We're gonna take our fingers and just start to press right underneath the ear and do little circles. And just slowly start to move your way down. You are welcome. I love seeing your comments on here, everybody. Just slowly working your way down. Think about lengthening your spine and breathing. That's it. Think about what it would be like to just notice a beautiful flower, the smell of it in the morning. It was really, really refreshing to smell that. Hello. 
So just coming all the way down, working your way all the way down towards the top of your shoulder. And then you can work along the top of the shoulder a little bit. And then right along, so here's my collarbone. You can kind of see it sticking out right along in that dip under, um, on top of it. So you're gonna work your fingers right in there. And this is where a lot of those muscles from our neck attach. So it's nice to be able to kind of release that. Sometimes you'll feel like a tender spot. You can go all the way down into your sternum. That's where they meet right here, the collarbones. And then move on top of your collarbone and just start to press there. So just pressing here. Releasing any tension, letting your shoulder drop down a little. And take another two breaths. Good. And then release and just start to move your head now side to side. And you'll notice you just released a lot here. And then continue to move side to side. So you'll bring your right ear to your right shoulder and your left ear to your left shoulder. And then the next time that you bring your left ear to your left shoulder, hold it there. We'll do the same thing now. We're gonna take our left hand and start right underneath the ear and just slowly start to work your way down. Really gentle, just a little bit of pressure. Finding where that column of muscles is. That's where we've got like a lot of tightness in there. Good morning. Nice to see all of you guys on here commenting. Hope you're having a good morning this morning. And just feeling nice and slow. Moving down the side of the neck. Good. Do a few more like that, kind of noticing where the tight spots are. And then take your hand right up underneath your ear and you're just gonna press a little bit harder, so a little bit of pressure here, and just start to make little circles. Working your way down the side of your neck. Letting yourself breathe. Think about sitting tall here Taking a couple deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, that's it. Working your way all the way down to the top of the shoulders and then right along towards the top of your collarbone. So you're gonna go up on the top of the shoulders here and then right into that little, that little notch and like I said on the other side, this is where a lot of those muscles from your neck attach. This is where like you get headaches and things like that. So releasing these really helps to release some of that pressure. And then you can come along the top of your collarbone. You can even come down towards your collarbone or towards your sternum here and then work along the top of the collarbone and just give it a little bit of blood flow. So just bringing that movement. Good. And then releasing out and just moving your head side to side. Notice you'll have like a lot less crackles. When I do it like that, instead of just kind of like moving my head around, there's a lot less crackles here. And then just start to move your shoulders in a nice slow circle. So mine just crack now. But allowing yourself to kind of create some space there in the front of the chest and then squeezing the shoulders onto your back. That's it. Let's do a few more rounds here, just rolling those shoulders up and around. Good. And then taking your hands, let's interlace the hands here and just start to stretch the palms out. And as you stretch your palms out, you can start to reach over to the right and over to the left. Just stretching up through the side body as you breathe. So taking time to pause throughout our day and you know literally smelling the flowers but also letting yourself feel what you've got going on in your body right? so it's okay to feel tight it's okay to feel out of sorts we have to start by recognizing that and then from there we can start to bring in our breath and we can start to find ways to feel better right as you come back through center now inhale and just stretch your arms up exhale your arms back down Inhale, stretching up, exhaling as you lower. Let's do two more. Big breath in and a big breath out. 
Good, big breath in and big breath out. Coming out and just rolling your shoulders now, feeling those shoulders moving onto your back. And we're gonna come in and do a little bit of breath work now. So you can take a comfortable seat. I like to sit cross-legged. If you are sitting on the floor, that's a good way to do it. Sometimes in a chair, it's not always the most optimal way to sit. So do what feels best here for you. Somebody, somebody said, oh yeah, I can't sit like that. That's okay if you can't sit like me, right? I do this for a living, so maybe I'm a little more used to it. So as you sit up nice and tall, just feel yourself start to lengthen and start to connect with your body and your breath. You can let your shoulders move on to your back, and if you want, you can even do a couple circles here, just letting your hips release. Yes, it is Earth Day, and that was gonna be part of my theme this morning. <laughs> so yeah, that was part of the idea, is that being outside today is something that's important to think about. Right? Our Earth right now is going through this nice contraction. And it, sometimes contraction can be like a bad thing, but really we're kind of drawing back and we're recharging all of us, the earth, ourselves, the universe, and then change your direction. So as you're out today, just kind of noticing things like notice the sky, notice the way that the air smells, the way that the air feels, maybe even notice the way that the sun feels on your skin. And those are all just little ways to kind of step into the present moment, to practice mindfulness and awareness. All right, and then coming back, we'll just inhale and roll the shoulders back. Exhale as you round. Let's do two more like that, and then we'll come into our comfortable seat for a little meditation, a little bit of just turning within, centering. And then as you come back up, now just take a comfortable seat. So if you have a chair with a back, you can lean into it. And then bring your hands so that your palms face up. Good morning. And then allow yourself here to just start to be open to what rises up. You can keep your eyes open or you can start to softly close them. Give yourself a little space here to just slow down. With all of our busyness, with all of our chatter in our lives, it's easy to miss the little things. It's easy to miss the smell of the flowers. It's easy to miss the way that the air feels on our skin. So we make conscious efforts to really just notice, to find some stillness. So as you feel your body start to get a little bit more still, and it's okay if you move, it's okay if you have to adjust yourself. Start to find these little moments of stillness and just notice what it feels like. Start to bring your attention towards your breath, noticing the place where your breath meets your nose. And then just following your breath in through your nose and out through your mouth or in through your nose and out through your nose. Following the breath, noticing what it feels like on the tip of your nose, all the way up inside your nose. Even starting to notice and feel your breath as it moves down the back of your throat and all the way down into your lungs. Just following the length of the breath in and the length of your breath as it moves back out. And then just take a few moments here to just observe. You can start by noticing any sounds, maybe even outside your house right now. If I listen closely, I can hear 75. Sometimes I can hear Daniels. Sometimes I can even hear my neighbors walking their dogs. 
And then start to listen for sounds inside your home, maybe your family stirring or your pets. And start to listen for sounds inside the room that you're in, even if it's just the sound of your own breath. And then come back to that breath, just noticing your inhale and your exhale, starting to smooth things out. Smoothing out any sensations, smoothing out any thoughts, smoothing out any tension that you might be holding on to. Start to feel your inner body as it fills up with each inhale and allow your outer body to soften with each exhale. Imagine yourself just softening into your own skin, into your own body. We'll take three more breaths here. And after your third round of breath, you can bring a little movement to your fingers to your toes, and then bring your hands in front of your heart. So as we close today on this Earth Day, this day to really celebrate all these things that are around us, I wanna challenge you to take some time remembering how essential you are, remembering how the Earth around you is essential, how it's there to support you. And you can post any pictures of you out in nature or doing whatever you're going to do to honor that today. You can post them with the hashtag Lee Health Self Care. I'd love to see them. You can do them on our Instagram or on our Facebook. But I want to challenge you to go outside today and take five deep breaths. Just inhaling and exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. You can count them. There's one and then two and allow yourself to really feel and just kind of notice. Maybe even take a few moments after that if it feels good and keep breathing. But give yourself that time because you are essential. You deserve that time and space. So today, as we close, I bow to you, Nicole Tron, namaste. Thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.